Hello and welcome back to another day in the old workshop. My name is Jesse Bourne and today I'm going to be showing you an update on the Secret Homocista Puzzle Chess. So if you haven't been uh, up to speed on this project, this is my main project right now. What this is, is a puzzle chest with uh, 17 different drawers that's going to be in it. And they all work with puzzles. So you have to solve one puzzle to open a drawer. Then you have to solve another puzzle to open the next drawer. And eventually you're going to be collecting these keys that allow you to open up the final drawer once all the keys are in place. So it's, it's kind of a, like a puzzle furniture type of piece. And it's uh, super cool. You can see all the wood mechanisms here. Um, so I have these first two levels done and then this third level I'm working on right now. So as you see, I'm gluing in the linings here. These are blood wood linings, so they're bright red. They contrast the, the mahogany here very nicely. Um, and so as you can see, there's 25 of these puzzle chests scattered throughout my workshop. And so I've got some here, I've got some here, and the rest, the other six are right there. There's so many of these, I don't have a place to put them all, which would be handy, you know, so you could just go from one to the next to the next to the next. You just kind of have to keep track of where everything is around the shop. But, you know, at this stage, I've kind of wrapped my head around it and, you know, it's rare that I forget one or skip one as I'm doing a particularly, a particular, uh, as I'm doing a certain machining step. So anyway, um, yeah, like today I was making, I made these. These are Bacote uh, drawer stops. Well, retainers, I guess you would, fasteners. And these are gonna be on the backs of this drawer here. You know, backs of the drawers, you know, so this is gonna be a, a parts I, it basically right now all it is a channel but it's going to be modified further I'm going to cut these into little cubes and basically you have more than 25 inches per this so that you have 25 uh, pieces to go around to each puzzle chest and I have four of them because there's going to be, need to be four of those per per puzzle chest um, also what I was doing today was gluing in these linings as you see some of these uh, Puzzle chests have the drawers up on top showing that they're having the linings glued in right now. And uh, this is incredibly dense wood. This is blood wood. It comes from Central America or South America. Um, it's incredibly dense. It's tough to work with because it's just so hard. These woods are not easy on blades and they're not easy to hand carve, but uh, you can't argue with the finished product, so it's just stunning to see some of the stuff when it's finished. Try to get a good mix of different things going here. I got uh, more blood. No, this is Paduk, actually. Paduk is kind of like a bright orange. This, this little detail, this piece needed to be nice and strong, so that's made out of catalogs. That's a super dense wood also as well. Um, you know, more Purple Heart. This is even poplar here cherry, mahogany, this is a uh, wenge or wenge. And so I got a good mix of a lot of different woods in here that just helped to give it all a, you know, a unique look, but something that kind of blends, blends fairly well. I didn't want to go too crazy so that it's, you know, looks like a, you know, Picasso or something. You know, even the smallest little details make a big difference. So. You know, I could have just thrown that piece in there without any kind of chamfer, but it's just, it makes the continuity so much better. Having that there, it makes it look like it fits. It doesn't stand out. And so it just, you know, the sum of the, the, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts, as they say. So this has been a great project to learn on, and I'm excited for it to be finishing up here soon. It's going to be... I mean, I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, so it's not gonna be too much longer, and I'm gonna be shipping these things out. Like I said, I'm gaining speed with every single tier, so, you know, I kinda carry the tricks over to the next, uh, to the next level of drawers, and I'm a little bit faster and a little bit better at everything, so 
Um, that's all going fantastically. As you see, I love this setup with the two dual saws here. I usually have this one set up ripping right here. And then also over here, I have this uh, table saw sled, which isn't on right now because I took the blade out of this one, but I usually do this cross cutting right here. And I also have the rip fence there. Uh, it just makes the efficiency very, uh, you know, well, efficient. Anyway, the project is going great. It should be out soon. Um, so I'm excited about that. That about wraps up this video. Hopefully I'll have more instructional type videos coming out soon. Or maybe not so much like instructional, it's just kind of, you know, my method because I'm not saying that the best woodworker out there, but I do have an inventive mind. So it's kind of fun to see the way I think of solving problems around here. So uh, that's kind of the goal of the channel. I, I appreciate all the new subscribers. We're over 200. Thank you. You've been a wonderful audience. Goodbye.